Valery Spiridonov suffers from a terminal muscle wasting disease. He wants to save his life and make medical history by becoming the first person to undergo a human head transplant. I love science, I love medicine. If it goes good, I think I will get rid of the limits uh, which I have today and I will be more independent and uh, this will much improve my life. Surgeon Sergio Canavero wants to transplant Spiridonov's head onto another body in two years. He's come to a medical conference in the U.S. city of Annapolis in Maryland to ask American scientists for help turning theory into practice. I made the announcement only when I was pretty sure that I could do it. The, the chances of this working are 90 percent. Uh, of course there is a marginal risk. I cannot deny that. Both the patient's and the donor's body would be cooled to extend the time their cells can survive without oxygen. The tissue around the neck would be cut and the blood vessels linked together with tubes. Then the spinal cords of each person would be severed. The recipient's head would then be moved onto the donor's body and the spinal cords fused together with a substance called polyethylene glycol. The blood vessels and the muscles would then be stitched together. The patient would be kept in a coma for three to four weeks to prevent movement. Canavero's proposal has been condemned by some doctors as a hoax. Several professors uh, criticizing Dr. Canavero's work. Uh, but, you know, there was criticism for the, the first heart transplant as well. And uh, now it's commonplace. Canavero says he may struggle to get ethical approval to carry out the operation in the West. The implications are enormous, so are the challenges. But the same could be said of past operations that have pushed the boundaries of science. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.